Anatomy of the L5 nerve root L5 nerve root is part of the lumbosacral plexus as you see here. It is an important component of the sciatic nerve. The L5 nerve root causes ankle dorsiflexion, which also comes from L4 nerve root. The tibialis anterior is the primary dorsiflexor of the ankle, and the innervation comes from the deep perineal nerve. Injury of the L5 nerve root can cause weakness of the tibialis anterior muscle, and this can lead to a foot drop. The L5 nerve root also causes dorsiflexion of the toes through innervating the extensor hallucis longus, the extensor digitorum longus, and this innervation comes from the deep perineal nerve. Of particular interest is the extensor hallucis longus. Weakness of the big toe extension is usually present when disc herniation affects the L5 nerve root. So when the L5 nerve root is affected, the extensor hallucis longus could become weak. The tibialis posterior is an important muscle that runs behind the medial malleolus. Its innervation comes from the posterior tibial nerve. The function of the tibialis posterior is to invert the foot to assist in plantar flexion of the ankle and to maintain the medial longitudinal arch. The L5 nerve root also innervates the muscles that cause hip extension, and the muscles are the hamstrings, which is innervated by the tibial nerve and the gluteus maximus, which is innervated by the inferior gluteal nerve. The hamstring muscles are also a major flexor of the knee. The L5 also innervate the hip abductors, the gluteus medius and minimus, and the innervation comes from the superior gluteal nerve. Injury of L5 nerve root can cause weakness of the hip abductors, and this can lead to a Trendelenburg gait. As you can see here, the L5 nerve root is really an important nerve root, and it supplies a lot of muscles. This is a summary of these muscles. The tibialis anterior is the primary dorsiflexor of the ankle, innervation from the deep perineal nerve, injury of the L5 nerve root will cause foot drop, the extensor hallucis longus and the extensor digitorum longus, big toe and other toes extension, innervation from the deep perineal nerve, injury of L5 nerve root will cause weakness of extension of the toes including the big toe. Tibialis posterior inverse the foot and assist in plantar flexion of the ankle and maintain the medial longitudinal arch. Innervation comes from the posterior tibial nerve. The hamstrings can cause hip extension and also are a major flexor of the knee. Innervation comes from the tibial nerve. The gluteus medius and minimus causes hip abduction. Innervation comes from the superior gluteal nerve. Injury to L5 nerve root can cause weakness of hip abduction and Trendelenburg gait. Gluteus maximus causes hip extension. The nerve supply to the gluteus maximus is given by the inferior gluteal nerve L5, S1, and S2 mainly S1 nerve root. The L5 nerve root gives sensory innervation to the top of the foot. If you don't remember anything about L5 nerve root, try to remember that injury to that nerve can cause weakness of the big toe extension and weakness of ankle dorsiflexion for draft 
and weakness of the hip abductor, which will give you Trendelenburg gait. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.